April 27th, 2018, Beer Bongs and Bentleys was released, aka the best album made in history. Beer Bongs and Bentleys, which, by the way, is very fun to say, it's an 18 track album featuring songs like Rockstar featuring 21 Savage, Candy Paint, and Ball for Me featuring Nicki Minaj. But that isn't even the tip of the iceberg with this album. Not only were all the songs in this album just absolutely perfect. Perfect, but was released at the most nostalgic time of my life and I would just like to say I love all these songs But they all have to be in a place So I'm sorry if a song you don't you love is in a place you don't think it should be but comment where you think that song should be Now starting off with number 18. We have Jonestown. It's literally an interlude I don't even know if that counts as a song. It's just like oh, it happens all the time. It's an interlude between songs like I, so obviously it's going to get number 18 tell me who actually listens to the interludes and I'm gonna find them now for number 17 we have spoil my night I love this song but Sway Lee kind of did take it down I don't know why I just don't like Sway Lee and Post Malone even though Sunflower is an amazing song something had to be number 17 and spoil my night is just number 17 now number 16 is psycho I don't know why why I put this here, but there was just songs that I loved so much more than Psycho. Don't get me wrong, I love listening to Psycho, but now number 15 is Rockstar. I love this song and all the memes that it brought to the table. And specifically the how Daquan plays Fortnite video, that's an amazing memory for me. But based off ranking with how I kind of did it for Hollywood's Bleeding, this song was released about six months before this album even came out in November of 2017. So I kind of have to put it at this spot because it eventually was overplayed and everybody heard the song so much they just wanted to hear the rest of the album. Number 14, Candy Pay. I'm telling you guys, I love these songs, but they just have to be. I just love other songs more. Like, I love every Post Malone song, right? But something had to be number 14. Now, number 13, Blame It On Me. This is such a good song. A common theme of this album that I kind of noticed was like the songs were sad, but they had such an aggressive tone to the song. And that's just a style that I really liked. And this is just one of those songs. Now, for number 12, take shots I love this song so much I don't know when I hear this song it gives me so much nostalgia of just 2018 in general now number 11 same bitches bitchin yeah bitchin I love how hard this song goes like there's not a lot of songs that go just like straight up go so hard but same bitches just hit so hard for me I, it's like yo let's go like it's just a total hype song and that's why I love same bitches it's a great song now for number 10 Zach and Cody this song has always just hit so hard for me and it really contributed to how strong the album first started off like this is the fourth song on the album I'm pretty sure and just like dude it it's one of those songs that are so fire and i remember the day that i was like wait it's like zach and cody but it's cody and i was like whoa I, I, by the way this was months after the song came out too that i realized this i i feel so retarded now for number nine, we have 92 Explorer. I used this song for a Fortnite montage back in last summer, like at the peak of Fortnite, right? And that's just a big reason why I love this song and have a lot of nostalgia for it. And also I never hear anybody mention this song in Beer Bongs and Bentleys. So it's so underrated. Now for number eight, we have Other Side, just another song that's kind of like sad and aggressive. Um, yeah. I freaking love it now number seven ball for me i love this song okay ball for me it's just i i don't know what it is but this song just hits so hard it's just a banger okay some songs like it's so hard to describe why you love it so much when it doesn't tie to a specific memory but all i can say about this is ball for me is a banger number six over now i love this song it's just so aggressive and i actually listen to this song all the time when i work out it's it's a great song
never have I ever heard the first track of an album be such a banger. Paranoid is just so good. Oh my god, it's just so good. The vocals and like every time I hear this song, I get choked up. It really just does throw me back to 2018, which was the best time of my life. Now for number four, we have Rich and Sad. So this ties back to a specific memory. It was June of 2018, I think, and my mom and I just got done at work. We were cleaning a house and we were on our way home and I fell asleep in the car, which I do all the time. Even if it's like a five minute drive home, I, in a second, I'm just out, okay? So we were listening to Post Malone and I woke up and this song was playing, which I've, all, I've heard it before, but I was just like, I woke up to it and it was so amazing sounded and I played it on repeat for days. Number three, better now. Do I really have to say anything? This is like only overplayed songs in this album that I can still listen to and genuinely enjoy so much. Now, number two is Stay. Stay was the song that I heard on the way to seeing my grandfather for the last time before he died. And every time I hear this song, I think of him and just all the great times and how I was so happy that I got to see him one last time before he left and also it's just one of those post malone songs that in every album post malone has that one song that's completely different from the rest of the album for stony it was feeling whitney for beer bongs and bentley's it was day and for hollywood's bleeding it was internet and last but not least you probably didn't expect this to be number one and actually i hear nobody ever talk about this song at all but sugar wrath sugar wrath is the 18th track of the album so it's pretty clear why not a lot of people talk about this song and I actually never hear anybody talk about this song but it is so aggressive and like the music like I what is it called just the music that isn't the vocals is just so freaking good and then the vocals are amazing and I just love this song so much this was probably the most underplayed song for me from the album and then I was one day I was at work with my mom and I just got the song stuck in my head. I was like, wait, which Post Malone song is that? And then I went through beer bongs and Bentleys and finally found it. And I was like, yo, it, it's so freaking good. And that is why Sugar Wrath is number one. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. I really hope you did enjoy hearing my opinion about the songs in Beer Bongs and Bentleys, aka the best album ever created. I know a lot of y'all are going to have different opinions than me, so I would it would mean a lot if you commented your different opinions and how you would make this list because I know I have some hardcore Post Malone fans and I'm looking at you, Matthew, or PNX Ghost. So I love you all. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.